Haleluya. Indeed, I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord so much. It's not my first time here. This is the 18th conference. And every time I'm here. Please take your seats. And every year I attend to the conference. However, I thank God because I have received an opportunity of sharing the word of God in this conference. I thank God so much. I thank my father, the apostle, Manta wangu, she is my wangu, she is my mentor na mungu, I thank God because she has given me an opportunity mungu akubariki. God bless you Tena akubariki. richly bless you Pia akubariki. richly bless you again Kwa jina la yesu. in the name of Jesus Wandugu, brethren sio damu na nyama. not by power not by might Kusema, nikue, nishimame hapa. for me to stand here today. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunaingia kwa neno la Mungu. Now we get into the word of God. Ulimwengu wa roho katika Kristo. The spiritual realm, the high places, spiritual realm in Christ. Ephesians 2:6. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. Tasoma kwa Swahili. Let us read in Swahili. Wa Efeso sura ya pili mstari wa sita. Akatafuta pamoja naye Mtarudia tena akatufufua pamoja naye akatuketisha pamoja naye katika ulimwengu wa roho katika Kristo Yesu Mungu akatufufua pamoja na Kristo God raised that raised us from the dead together with Christ Kisha akatuketisha then he caused us to sit akatuketisha pamoja na Yesu with Christ katika ulimwengu wa roho in the heavenly places alitupandisha alitufufua he raised us akatuketisha he caused us to sit na Yesu with Jesus mbinguni in the heavenly places ulimwengu wa roho in the spiritual realm wakati nimesikia hii topic when i heard about this topic nimesema lakini i said now kutuikalisha na Yesu seated with Christ na Yesu pekee anaikaa pembeni ya Baba and Jesus is the only one who is sitting on the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa kiroho spiritually naikala pamoja na Yesu I am seated with Christ na Yesu pembeni ya Mungu and Baba and Jesus close to God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa siku moja now one day nikajiuliza I ask myself kutuketisha seated eh high places sehemu za juu sehemu ya juu ah Niko naomba na tafakari. I was praying and meditating about this. Nikasikia Zakaria. I heard Zachariah. Zakaria. 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 Acha tusome. Let us read. Luka. Look. Mstari wa kwanza. The book of Luke chapter 1. Mstari wa 39 na 9. Verse 39. Luke chapter 1 verse 39. Podcast 45. We shall take our reading until verse 45. Basi Mariamu akaondoka siku hizo. Akaenda hata nchi ya milimani kwa haraka mpaka mji mmoja wa Yuda. Akaingia nyumbani kwa Zakaria. Akamwamkia Elisabeti. Ikawa Elisabeti aliposikia kule kwa mkia kwake Mariamu kitoto kichanga kikaruka ndani ya tumbo lake. Elisabeti akajawa akajazwa roho mtakatifu. Akapaza sauti kwa nguvu akasema, "Umebarikiwa wewe katika wanawake. Naye mzao wa tumbo lako amebarikiwa." Limetokeaje neno hili? Hata mama wa bwana wangu anijilie mimi. Mama, maana sauti ya kuamkia kwako ilipoingia masikioni mwangu kitoto kichanga kikaruka kwa shangwe ndani ya tumbo langu naye heri aliyesadiki kwa maana 
yatatimizwa aliyoambiwa na Bwana. Amen. Amen. Ukanisomea ukanisaidia unisomee na Wathesalonika wa kwanza. Let us also open the book of 1 Thessalonians. Mustari wa 4. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Chapitre 4. Eh, mustari wa 15 mpaka 18. Chapter 4 verse 15 to verse 18. Kwa kuwa tuambieni haya. Kwa neno la Bwana kwamba sisi tulio hai tutakaosalia hata wakati wa kuja kwake Bwana. Hakika hatutawatangulia wao waliokwisha kulala mauti. Kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na mwaliko na sauti ya malaika mkuu na parapanda ya Mungu na waliokufa katika Kristo watafufuliwa kwanza kisha sisi tulio hai tuliosalia tutanyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mawingu ili tumlaki Bwana hewani na hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na Bwana milele basi farijia neni kwa maneno hayo. Haleluya. Amina. Zakaria, Zakaria alikuwa mtu anaheshimu Mungu. Zakaria was a man who honored God. Na mke wake Elizabeth and his wife Elizabeth. Na alikuwa alikuwa anaheshimu Mungu. They lived with the fear of God. Alisema iko juste. Acha niangalie kwa Kiswahili nilisoma kwa kwa kitabu. Eh? Alikuwa mwenye haki. Alikuwa alikuwa wenye haki. <laughs> Walikuwa wenye haki. They were righteous people. Kisha Zakaria, no, Zakaria. Alikuwa anaenda alikuwa kohani. He was a priest so he would go to the temple. Alikuwa kohani alikuwa anaenda ku kutoa so he would go and give zabiu. Sa, sacrifice. Alikuwa anaenda kutoa zabiu kanisa um, a, a, ahera ahera hirengo. Ekaluni. Ekaluni. He would go to the temple to offer sacrifices. Alikuwa anaenda hekaluni kutoa zabiu. He would go to the temple to give sacrifice. Sasa wakati mmoja Now one day wa, watu walikuwa nje people were out wakimwombea they were praying Zakaria aka 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 akapewa aka aka chaguliwa kwa kura. And Zakaria was selected or elected out of a lot. Kwa kura casting a lot and he was selected. Zakaria akaingia. Zakaria went. Akaenda ku Hekaluni to, to the temple. Akaenda kutoa zabiu. To give a sacrifice. Akafika huko. Now he got there. Malaika akamtembelea. The angel of, of God visited him. Malaika akashimama kwa kwa droite kwa mkono wa kulia. An angel stood on the right hand side. Akamwambia Zakaria. And told Zakaria. Maombi yako Mungu amekubali. Your prayers have been accepted Maombi by God. Maombi yako Mungu anakubali. God has accepted your prayers. Zakaria. Zakaria. Utazaa mtoto. You will give birth to a son. Utamuita Yohana. You will call him John. Uyo Yohana. And John atakuwa furaha ya maisha yako. Will be the joy of your life. Uyo Yohana. John atatumikia Mungu. Will serve God. Na atabatizwa akiwa ndani ya tumbo la mama yake. And he'll be baptized while in his mother's womb. Atabatizwa akiwa mwana mtoto ndani ya tumbo. He'll, he'll be baptized, baptized as a child in his mother's womb. Na atafundisha watu kutubu, atafundisha watu kuwatoa ndani ya ulimwengu wa giza na kumfuata Yesu. And he will teach people to repent, turn away from their evil ways and direct them to Jesus. Zakaria kasema mimi ni mzee. Zakaria said I'm old. Na na, na mke wangu Elizabeth ni mzee. And my wife Elizabeth is also old. Ana umri. Her age is advanced. Basi itawezekanaje? How can that happen? Ndani ya moyo wake akukubali. In his heart he didn't accept that thing. Malaika kumwambia. The angel told him. Mimi ni Gabriel. I am Gabriel. Nimetumwa na Mungu. I have been sent by God. Kukwambia haya maneno. To tell you these words. Kwa basi kwa kuwa haukubali vizuri. Now because you don't totally believe. Utageuka bubu. You will become a uh, dumb. Utageuka bubu. You will become dumb. Zakaria kabaki huko. Zakaria remained there. Lakini mbingu yake ilikuwa inafungwa. But his heaven was open. 
akabaki huko watu nje wanasema bwana Zakaria anakawia people waiting for Zakaria and they were asking why is it kuna taking long kuna kuwa tukio gani what has happened there Zakaria anabaki huko Zakaria is in there wakati Zakaria amerudi when Zakaria came out akakuja iko bubu he came out could not speak lakini akafika nyumba zake nyumba yake but at his, in his mimi, house mimi sasa kwa mawazo yangu in my thought now nilisema either mekawa Mungu alikuwa anamshushia nguvu mpya nguvu ya kuweza kuzaa Mungu uko na mtu hey. ndani kwa kuwa neno la Mungu linasema asifiwe Mungu wa baba yetu Yesu Kristo kwa kuwa ametupatia baraka zote za rohoni Therefore in my thoughts as I meditated upon this I realized that actually during that time when Zechariah was done God was blessing in him power strength in order to be able to sire a child because the bible says that the god the lord our father has blessed us with all spiritual blessings god is a god of strategy hallelujah amen zakaria natoka ekaluni sasa zakaria came from the temple anafika kwake he got home ni bubu i could not speak anatia mimba mke wake he was able to impregnate his wife elizabeth 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 akiwa na mimba elizabeth while pregnant yes hii mitano 5 months amejiwe, later amejiweka pembeni she had secluded herself anasikia kama ni kitu ya aibu she felt like it was embarrassing ah lakini anasema mungu umenitoa aibu but he said god you have taken my shame lakini kwa watu anasema nafanya nini but before men he asked herself she Pe- asked herself how can i go before men pengine na shetani alikuwa anamuingilia anamwambia ni kivimba probably the devil was telling her it's not pregnancy you are just swollen ni mama kivimba bivimba ndani ya tumbo maybe it is a fibroid in the stomach lakini wakati alianza sikia mtoto iko na bouge kuna anatembea but when she heard that the baby was <laughs> moving akasema basi acha nikale tu she said let me wait eh hiyo period hiyo hiyo wakati all that time malaika katembelea maria the angel also Ga- visited mary gabriel katembelea maria gabriel visited mary akamwambia maria umejaliwa neema said mary blessed among all women Maria na yeye alikuwa mwaminifu. Mary also was faithful. Na yeye pia alikuwa bikira. She was a virgin as well. Lakini akapewa ujumbe. But she was given a message. Ya ku, ya kubeba, ku, kuzaa Yesu. That she will conceive Jesus. Roho Mungu atakufinika. The spirit of God shall cover you. Na utazaa mtoto and you'll give birth to a son and the son will be a son of david forever and his she said his, mary responded i am a servant of god let, let it be so i accept as a servant of god let the will of god hallelujah Amen. Akamwambia kitu kingine ya pili. The angel told her something else. Na ndugu yako fulani ama shangazi yako and you are cousin. Naye iko na mimba. She's also pregnant. Hii ni mwezi wa sita. This is the sixth month. Asubuhi. Early in the morning. Alijianda vizuri. She prepared herself. Akaenda kwa Elizabeth. She went to Elizabeth place. Akafika kwa Elizabeth. She got to Elizabeth place. Usikilize hapo. Listen to this now. Akafika kwa Elizabeth. She got there. Akamusalimia. She greeted her. Hiyo salamu ile. Now the, the greetings. Hii ingia ndani ya masikio ya ya, ya Elizabeth. Penetrated through the ears of Elizabeth. Ikamuinua. And lifted her. Ikamufikisha mahali pa juu. Took her to a higher place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hiyo sauti tu. The only the voice. Hii ingia kwa masikio yake. Penetrated in our ears. Hiyo sauti ilikuwa na nguvu. That voice had power. Ya to lift her. Ejuru. I bless. Lifted her. Kitu kingine. Something else. Hiyo sauti imeacha anabatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu. That voice left her baptized in the Holy Ghost. Na mwanae Yohana akabatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu. And her child John was also baptized in the Holy Spirit. Kumbuka kama malaika aliambia 
Zakaria, Remember the angel told Zachariah Yohana tabatizwa tumboni mwa mama yake John shall be baptized in the womb of her, his mother Elizabeth Elizabeth Yohana John they go to high place together with Jesus. Now listen to this. Let me tell you. That's when she got the message that Mary also is carrying the son of God. She knew that indeed she is a blessed woman. She knew that Mary was carrying the Messiah. Yohana na yeye pia John also Apo mbinguni huko there and then in the heavenly Mahali places, juu, high places kwa ulimwangu wa juu in the spiritual realm kwa ulimwangu wa roho in the spiritual realm Yohana na akapewa ujumbe John was also given a message Kwa ndugu mtoto naye anapewa ujumbe Brethren an infant a fetus is given a message Mtoto mkinyaranga anasema uruhinja baby, baby. Kitoto. Hey. Kitoto. Mutoto ndani ya tumbu anapewa ujumbe. A baby in the womb of the mother is given a message. Anapewa ujumbe kutoka kwa Mungu. A message from God. Ukikatara tumikia Mungu Mungu atatumikisha nao watu. If you refuse to come on ruka ruka hapa kama ni katoto ka ka huyu mwimbaji. Mwimbaji. Robert. If you don't praise God, God will cause children to praise him. You see children jumping here? Robert's daughter? God can use all of them. God baptized John while in his mother's womb. And the heavens opened. Through that voice, John was given a message. Utaishi kwa maisha ya utakaso. You will live a holy life. Utaambia watu neno la Mungu. You will tell people the word of God. Utaambia wakubwa na wadogo kutubu. You will preach to the old and the young to repent. Kuelekezea maisha yao kwa Yesu. And to direct their lives to Jesus. Watoke ndani ya zambi. They will get out of sin. Akakuja kama anakuja kuandaa. Now he came to prepare a way. Akaanza kufundisha watu neno la Mungu. He started teaching people the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Akasema mutubu. And he said repent. Utengeneze njia zenu. Prepare the way. Ni sauti tu. This is a voice. Inasemea ndani ya desert. In the wilderness. Eh. Hey. Now repent your sins. When you repent, he baptizes you. From the start of the Bible until that day. There is no servant of God who knew about immersion baptism. He received that revelation from the Father. From heaven. From heaven. He got that revelation. He, he baptized them all. Then one day, while baptizing, then he said, I baptize you. I baptize you the repentance baptism by water. But there is a man. There is one that I don't know. But that one, he told me, if you see the Holy Spirit, that is the one that the Holy Spirit shall descend upon. That is the one that shall baptize you by the Holy Spirit. He will baptize you by the Holy Spirit. I don't know him, but he's the one who told me. I'm not worthy even to tie the laces of his shoes. I'm not worthy. He was he, he was fast but he came While he was speaking, Jesus came. Jesus for him to confirm those words. Jesus came to be baptized by John in order to confirm those words. Johanna mubatiza. John baptized. He is graced. The Bible says, Johanna. John. 
Yohana John Ufalme wa Mungu unatekwa kwa kwa wenye nguvu The kingdom of God suffers violence Yes Yohana John akasema sitahidi kukubatiza He said I do I'm not worthy to baptize you Yes akasema acha unibatize Jesus says baptize me Uu Utimize in order to fulfill all righteousness. Hallelujah. Nimemwambia huyu ni mtu Pentecosti. Asante. Huyu anga yake tayari Ben ilishafunguka. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Akamubatiza. He baptized him. Sasa wakati nilikuwa nikwasikia mtu Roho mtakatifu ananifundisha hii maneno. Now I I heard the Holy Spirit teaching me these words. Akanambia. He told me. Sunaona. Now you see. Hiyo sauti ilishuka kwa kwa masikio ya Elizabeth. That voice that came and penetrated through Elizabeth. Ikamupandisha. Lifted her. Mahali pa juu. To high places. Hiyo sauti tena. That very voice. Ndio ile ile. Is the same voice. Itasema siku parapande talia. That will speak on the day of the trumpets. Malaika mkuu. The great angel. Atatoa sauti. Will give a sound. Na trompete parapanda. Parapanda trumpet. Isha. Hiyo nguvu iko ndani ya hiyo sauti. Then the power in that voice. Ita We lift those who are dead. Ina wapandisha. To lift them. Waliokufa ndani ya Mungu. Those who died in Christ. Wapanda wa kwanza. Will go fast. Wali wazima ndani ya Yesu. Now those who are going to be alive in Christ. The same sound. Ita wapandisha. We lift them. Watalaki Yesu hewani. And they will receive Jesus. Watamulaki hewani. In the air, in the clouds. Watamulaki hewani. They will receive Jesus in the clouds. Tuambiliane haya mambo. Now, comfort one another with these words. Tutiane moyo. Encourage one another. Sauti tu ya mbinguni. The voice from heaven. Inaweza katosha mtu mahali iko. Can lift somebody from wherever they are. Inamupandisha mahali pa juu. to high places. Unasikia hizo nguvu? Do, do you see that power? Uva, kama usikia ki sauti ya Mungu, if you don't hear the voice of God. Wanze ulilie Mungu. Cry to God. For you to be able to hear the voice of God. Because those who hear the voice of God. They are the ones who are used to that voice. When the trumpet blows. Those alive in Christ. And those who died in Christ. Will be lifted with that power of the voice. And they'll go up. They will receive Jesus in the air. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember. Yesu. Jesus. Wakati alikuwa na ananyanyaswa ana, anataka kufa. When he was being tortured kwa about to die. Kwa saa ya kenda. 3 PM. Wako wanamwambia bia maneno na kumupiga na kila kitu. They had beaten him and they were throwing words at him. Sauti ya nguvu. He spoke a voice of power. Hiyo sauti. That voice. Ili pasua pazia. It broke the curtain. Ili pasua pazia. It broke the curtain. Dunia And the earth shook. That's the voice of Jesus. It shook the earth. And the curtain opened. And the, there was an earthquake and the stones broke. Aha. Walio ndani ya Mungu. Those who are in God. Those who died before. The power in that voice lifted them. People saw them on earth. People saw them on earth. People saw them on earth. In Jerusalem. They walk in Jerusalem. They walk in Jerusalem. They walk in Jerusalem. Yesu. Jesus. Entered. And he battled with Satan. He took the keys from him. And he entered. Do you think Jesus? He died for you alone? Even those who died earlier. During Noah's time. For all of them. Peter says. Jesus. He went to Hades. To speak. Wale walio 
Wakati wakati who died during the time of Noah. During Noah's time, only eight people were saved. There were others that Jesus went to Hades to preach the gospel. Jesus is love. He is merciful. He told them the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Alafu then wale watu walionekana those people were seen na wale aliambia neno la Mungu and the ones is broke the word of God kupitilia bavu yake through his rib Mungu alitukatia njia God made a way for us by the blood of Jesus inaingia mpaka inaingia kwa ile pazia penetrated even through the curtain inaingia it entered lazani hao nafasi walipita i know that's where they passed kusema wafike for them to go to high places hallelujah i want to believe that's where they passed are you hearing the power in the voice brethren are you hearing and understanding the power of the voice of god you need to hear the voice of god i need to hear the voice of god all of us need to hear the voice of God. Because the servant of God has opened the heavens for us. When the heavens is open, something that confirms is the voice of God. Heavenly dreams. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kumbuka. Remember God is good. He's good to all people. Nakumbuka and remember wale watalam the professionals. Wale watalam waliona nani etwal waliona nyota mama juice who saw the mama stars mama juice mama juice mama juice nilisoma kwa biblia niliona wanaandika watalam I read in the bible the wise men mama juice mama juice walikuwa sijui walikuwa wapi walikuwa orient yeah. walikuwa east mashariki. mashariki they were in the east wakaona and they saw wakaona nyota stars mbingu ikawafungukia the heavens opened over them mbingu ikawafungukia heavens opened over them mungu akawaambia god told them unaelewa do you understand una habari do you know messiah atazaliwa the messiah has been born messiah atazaliwa the messiah has been born na mtaenda kumwabudu and you'll go to worship him mtaenda kumwabudu you'll go to worship him muelekeze yerusalem go to jerusalem mtaenda kumwabudu you'll go to worship him mukamate get old mene mene gold mukamate zahabu silver mukamate yote tatu all the three all the three mukamate get hold of that alafu muende kumwabudu and go and worship him utafata you will follow the star. Mm. Hey, you will follow that one. Wakaenda. And they went. Wanatoka mashariki. From the east. Niko wanaendelea tu kuona. Just looking at the star. Wanafika kwa Herod. And they got to Herod's place. Wanaambia Herod. They told Herod. Mbona tumeona? We have seen. Nyota. A star. Inatujulisha kuzaliwa kwa Yesu. It has informed us the birth of Jesus. Nyota iko wapi? Where is this place? Herod akatetemeka. Herod shook. Unajua mtu kalishazoea kama yeye njoo mwami. You know when somebody knows that he is king. Unakuwa mwingine mwami. And another king comes. Unaelewa? You understand? Akasema sasa. He said now. Akatafuta. He sought. Makohani. Priest. Akatafuta. He sought. Waandikaji wa Torati. Scribe. Akawatafuta akawauliza. And ask them. Sasa. Now. Nyinyi mnajua vya Mungu. You know about the about God. Hey, sasa. Now. Iyo, iyo, iyo kitu, ko, ina, Can it really be true that a king is born? Wakasema, they said. Vitabu. Let us look in the books. Tuangalie. Let us open the books. They said yes it's true. Atazaliwa. He will be born. Kuta, wa in Judah. Atazaliwa. He'll be born. Mesia. A Messiah. He said yes it's true. Nikweli. It's true. Akasema okay. And he said yes. Mwende zenu. Go away. Akaambia wale wale wa 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 majus. He told the wise men. Akawaambia. He told them. Kwa siri. Secretly. Akawaambia sasa sasa mtaenda kuabudu. He told them when you go to worship him. Mufate. Follow. Kisha mkisha aone mahali sehemu 
When Mtoto iko where the child has been born You come back and tell me Na mimi ni muabudu I also want to go and worship him Sasa wale wa majusi Now the wise men wakaelewa kama They understood Hiyo kitu sio kizuri This is not a good thing Wakaenda They went What wanaenda wanafuata hatua ya nyota They were following the direction of the star Wanafuata hatua ya nyota The direction of the star Wanafika fasi nyota na shimama They go to a place where the star Wanaingia ndani ya fasi Maria meza ya And they went where Mary had given birth Wakamuona Yesu And they saw Jesus Wakaanguka kifudi fudi They fell down prostrate Wakamuabudu And they worshiped him Wakamsujudu They bowed to him Hallelujah Amen wakaleta na hiyo kitu walikuwa walimtarishia and they brought the gifts that they had prepared sasa unaona pale now see maria alikuwa na lazima akaabui uji uji mary mary deserved some porridge alikuwa na lazima akauji some porridge alikuwa na lazima akachakula kateketeke some some food eh mtori mtori eh hey. Maria Mary angekuwa na lazima na yeye kwa Kinyarwanda anasema guhemba Yaani ukijifungua lazima upewe ile kukushukuru kwa zawadi fulani uh-huh. When you give birth people have to come and to thank you by gifts Thank you for giving birth Kusudi kwa tumbo ikuwe salama So that your, your womb will remain safe Lakini ni kuelezee But let me tell you Maria mwenye anapatia ni matiti ananyonyesha ananyonyesha Mary who was breastfeeding ananyonyesha Yesu was breastfeeding Jesus Yeah yo 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 maana yangu Eh I say <laughs> Mungu wangu Ananyonyesha Yesu was breastfeeding Jesus Anamhudumia Serving Jesus Anamhudumia Serving Jesus Wingwi mawingwi The heavens were was The heavens was open Hallelujah. Amen. Yo. Tuna lazima anga yetu ifunguliwe. Our heavens must open. Anga yetu ifunguliwe. Our heavens must open. Anga yetu ifunguliwe. Our heavens must open. Hallelujah. Amen. Nakumbuka siku moja. I remember one day. Yesu, Jesus. Alisha 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 chagua wa mitume having appointed the disciples akachagua na Yohana also John Yohana mtoto wa Zebedayo John the son of Zebedee aiko Yohana mbatiza not the baptizer John the baptizer alikuwa ameshafariki John the John the baptizer had already died akachagua Yohana Petro na wengine now he chose the disciples John Peter and the rest lakini nimechagua kusema Yohana but i have chosen to speak about John. Kwa kwa Yohana alikuwa rafiki ya Yesu. Because John was a friend of Jesus. Nimechagua kumsema yeye. I want to speak about him. Kwa kwa Yohana because John. Yohana yeye ametembea sana na Yesu kwa makini. John walked closely and carefully with Jesus. Yesu alikuwa anafahamu miujiza. Jesus was performing miracles. Yohana na wenziwe John and the rest. Wanaona. They would see Yohana mpaka Yesu akafariki until when Jesus died. Lakini mbele Yesu afariki. But before Jesus died. Yesu alimwangalia kumsalaba. John Jesus looked from the cross to John. Akamwambia Yohana. And he said John. Huyu ni mama yako. This is your mother. Akaelekea mama awe. And he, 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 Maria he looked towards Mary. Akaambia wewe ni mtoto wako. And he said this is your son. Unasikia ile alliance? Covenant. <laughs> Unasikia hiyo kitu? Do you understand that covenant? Sasa hiyo kitu ni kitu ya lazima sana. Now that is very very important and a must. Ule Maria mwenye alikuwa anabaki na na Yesu. Mary who was close and remaining with Jesus. Amemzaa Yesu. Given back to Jesus. Alikuwa mwaminifu mbele ya Mungu. Was faithful before God. Wanampatia sasa Yohana. Now she's handed over to Yoni John. Hiyo kazi ya ajabu. That is an amazing. Hiyo kazi kushinda kuhubiri. It is more than preaching. Kazi kushinda ingine makazi yote. It is more than any other kuhudumia Maria to serve Mary Mtangu hapo alimkamata kaumbeba kwake From then John took Mary to his place 
Yesu akafariki. Jesus died. Yesu akafufuka. Jesus rose. Yesu akarudi akarudi. He, he ascended to heaven. Yesu wakati alikufa. When Jesus died. Wakati alikuwa kujionesha watu. When he appeared to people. Na Yohana pia alikuwa hapo. John was there also. Na Yohana pia alikuwa hapo. John was there too. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesu al- Yohana aliona Yesu. Je- John saw Jesus. Tayari hayafariki. Before he died. Akisha fariki. After he died. Akisha rudia. Having ascended. A- a- akisha akisha na siku hiyo wali walivua samaki wakakosa and on the day they tried to fish and they failed to get any fish John was there Yesu anapenda sana salikuwa they say the disciple that Jesus loved was there lakini Mungu but God siku moja one day akaambia Petro told Peter Petro unanipenda Peter do you love me eh chunga kondoo zangu take care of my sheep akapatia kanisa and he gave the church akapatia Petro to Peter responsibility ya kanisa the responsibility over the church was given to Peter act the apostle changwa matendo ya matendo ya mitume Ma- <laughs> act of the apostle matendo ya mitume Petro alifanya miujiza. Peter performed miracles. Nani nilikwambia kama Yohana alifanya alihudumu hudumu tu akasema neno la Mungu lakini hakuna muujiza ilipitia kwa mikono yake. Who told you about the miracles of John? Mungu. You know John served here and there we see in the scriptures but did you see any miracle that went through his hands? Mungu hakukuwa na sababu kama Yohana ni, ni rafiki yake. God did not forget that John was his friend. Na alikuwa amempa kazi ya kuhudumia mama yake. And he had given him a task to take care of his mother. Yohana na Petro anashimamisha kilema. Peter would ray would, would cause the lamb to walk. Anasema mimi sina kitu ya kukupa. He said I don't have anything to give Lakini you. Lakini kitu ninacho. But what I have. Shimama. Arise. Kwa miguu yako. On your feet. Kile makashimama. And the lamb person walk. Akahubiri watu. Peter And thousands gave their lives to Jesus. Thousands were saved. John was just right there. But one day, he ministered to his mother. One day he was taken. An Katika roho. In the spirit. Akabebwa katika roho. He was lifted in the spirit. Read for me there. Ufunuo. Yeah, ufunua. Sura ya kwanza mstari wa tisa hadi ishirini. Ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya kwanza tuanzie mstari wa tisa. Mimi Yohana ndugu yenu na mwenye kushiriki pamoja nanyi katika mateso na ufalme na subira ya Yesu Kristo. Nalikuwa katika kisiwa kiitwacho Patmo kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu na ushuhuda wa Yesu nalikuwa katika roho siku ya Bwana nikasikia sauti kuu nyuma yangu kama sauti ya baragumu ikisema haya uyaonayo uyaandike katika chuo uyapeleke kwa haya kwa haya kwa hayo makanisa saba Efeso na Smyrna na Pergamo na Thyatira na Sardi na Philadelphia na Laodikia Nikageuka nione ile sauti iliyosema nami. Na nilipogeuka niliona vinara vya ta saba vya dhabahu. Dhahabu. Na katika na katikati ya vile vinara nikaona mtu mfano wa mwanadamu amevaa vazi lilofika miguuni na kufungwa mishipi na, dha, na dhahabu matitini. Kichwa chake na nywele zake zilikuwa nyeupe kama sufu nyeupe kama theluji na macho yake kama mwili na wa moto na miguu yake kama shaba iliyosuguliwa sana kwa, kwa kama kwamba imesafishwa katika tanuru na sauti yake kama sauti ya maji mengi naye alikuwa na nyota saba katika mikono mkono wake wa kuume na upanga mkali wenye makali kuwili ukitoka katika kinywa chake na uso wake kama jua likingaa kwa nguvu zake nami nilipomuona nilianguka miguuni pake kama mtu aliyekufa akaweka mkono wake wa kuume juu yangu akasema akisema usiogope mimi ni wa kwanza na wa mwisho na aliye hai nami nalikuwa nimekufa 
na tazama ni hai hata milele na milele nami ninazo funguo za mauti na za kuzimu basi uyaandike mambo hayo uliyaona nayo yaliyopo na yale yatakayokuwa baada ya hayo siri ya zile nyota saba ulizoziona katika mkono wangu wa kuume na ya vile vinara saba ya dhahabu zile nyota saba ni malaika wa wale makanisa saba na vile vinara saba ni makanisa saba haleluya amina umesikia ngoma yohana na ilisikia sauti did you and hear that john also heard the voice kama parapanda as a trumpet umesikia kama yohana have you heard alinyakuliwa na yeye john was also raptured alikuwa kwenye Patmos He was in Patmos Patmos kulikuwa vidudu Island that was full of animals Wamemnyanyasa wakambeba huko They had tortured him and taken him there Walikuwa wanajua kama vidudu itamuuma huko They knew John will die by being attacked by wild animals Lakini Mungu akakumbuka But God remembered Kama Yohana alikuwa kwa kifua yake That John was on his bosom Kama alikuwa rafiki yake He was his friend Mungu hawezi kukuachilia John God cannot forget you. Wewe tafuta tu Mungu. Just seek God. Wewe tumikia tu Mungu. Serve God. Wewe mwaminifu. Be faithful. Mungu hawezi kusahau. God will never forget you. Neno la Mungu linasema. The word of God says. Sioni unasema. Mungu anakuacha Yesaya maku Yesaya kitabu maandiko na kitabu cha Yesaya kinasema. Sioni unasema nimekusahau. Don't think I have forgotten you. Mungu anaweza Muzazi anaweza sahau mtoto ananyonyesha. A mother can forsake the child that she's breastfeeding. Inawezekana. It's possible. Lakini mimi siwezi kusahau. But I cannot forget Mime you. Mimi ndani mimi kuandika ndani ya mikono yangu. I yangu. have carved you in the palms of my hands. Yohana Mungu akumsahau. God did not forget you. Mungu akamuinua mahali pa juu. He lifted him in the high place. Alikuwa kudunia Patimosi. He was on earth in Patmos. Alakini spirit yake. But his spirit. Aliona macho ya kiroho ilifunguka. His spiritual eyes were open. Akaona Yesu. He saw Jesus. Akasikia sauti. He heard a voice. Akamuona. He saw him. Biblia inaniambia. The Bible tells me. Alikuwa alikuwa na na kichwa mweupe. He had a shining face. Alikuwa na macho kama jua. And his eyes were shining like the sun. Hapa face even his face kama kama jua like the sun alikuwa na macho kama vilindi vya moto eyes like tongues of fire alikuwa na na sentiri ya dhahabu hapa kwa trini hapa he had a belt of gold right here alikuwa na kanzu nyeupe he had a, 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 a garment which was white kama mikono yake in his hands kulikuwa nani In his hands. Ah, uh, candlesticks. Those there were candlesticks. Eh, mikono ni mwake. Vinara. Eh, kulikuwa vinara. The candlesticks. Hallelujah. Amen. Yohana. John. Akiona tu Yesu. When he saw Jesus. Na yake sema ilikuwa nzuri sana. And he saw that he had beautiful Yo, hair. Pe. White. Yohana kimuona. John saw him. Akajipiga chini. He bowed down. Yesu akamkamata na hii mkono. Jesus held him with his hand. The right hand. Akamwambia Yohana. He told him John. Usiogope. Fear not. Yohana usiogope. Fear not. Mimi ni mwanzo. I am the first. Tena ni ni mwisho. And I am the last. Mimi nilikuepo. I was. Ndaishi milele. I am forever. Nilikufa siku moja. I died one day. Lakini nikafufuka. But yet I live. And I introduced self yet. He yaku. introduced himself. Na japo walikuwa wanaiwana. And they knew they knew each other. He has he had seen him. He is the one who told him take care of my mother. But God revealed himself in hey. a different way. Kuna wakati Mungu atajionyesha kwako. There is a time God will reveal himself to you. Kama ni Mungu. He will show you as God. Wa huruma. Of mercy. Na siku nyingine anajionyesha kwako. And one day. Kani Mungu amiujiza. He will to you as a God of miracles. Na siku nyingine anajionyesha kwako. Another time reveal himself to you. Kama ni Mungu wa multiplication. As a God of multiplication. Anajionyesha kwako. He reveals to you. Kama ni Mungu anapana utajiri. As a God who gives riches. Na siku anajionyesha kwako. One day he'll reveal to, to you namna, namna. in different Iyo ways. Siku Mungu kwake. The day that God revealed himself to him. Ya ya 
I looked carefully in the scripture. Johanna meona Yesu. John saw Jesus. Anaona macho, anaona He saw eyes. Anaona kila kitu. He saw everything. Amemuona. He saw him. Na amepewa ujumbe. And he was given a message. Kwa makanisa. To the churches. Mungu akamuonesha. God showed him. Vitu vipita zamani. Things that happened. Vitu iko. Things that are. Na vitu itakuwa hapo. Things that will come. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu akamuonesha. He showed him. I remember one day Binguni. in heaven Walijiuliza. they asked themselves who could open the seal that seal that was closed everywhere on earth there was no one Binguni. in heaven there was no one under the earth there was no one Lakini Yohana Kalia. but John cried Yohana Kalia. John cried akamwambia Yohana usilie He told John, John don't cry Simba la kabila la Yuda The lion of the tribe of Judah Ameshinda is victorious Ameshinda is victorious Ameshinda is victorious Ameshinda is victorious Jameni brethren tutimu <laughs> let us obey God Mungu akombe kitu kinya uwezi God cannot ask you something you cannot do God cannot demand Mungu something you can do. He's asking something you can do. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu anapenda kutumika na watu wenye wiko na 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 bidii. God wants to serve with people who are zealous. Wanatumika kwa bidii. People who serve diligently. Nakumbuka siku moja. I remember one day. Hallelujah. Amen. Abraham. 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 Mungu amemtembelea. God visited him. Mungu amemtembelea. God visited him. Akamwambia. Told him. Toka ndani ya nchi hii. Get out of this land. Kwa nchi Go to a country I'll show you. Utaenda kwa nchi nitakuonesha. Go to a country I'll show you. Nitakubariki. I'll bless you. Mwenye atakubariki ndamubariki. And whoever blesses you I'll bless them. Na mwenye atakubariki sitakubariki. And whoever curses you I will curse them. Akasema acha acha ndugu zako. He said leave behind your brother. Acha nchi yako. Leave behind your country. Leave behind your siblings. Follow me. Kila siku nikasoma hapo. The day I read that. Banduku, brethren. Kweli Mungu akaambia Abraham. Go told Abraham. Achana na kila kitu unifate. Leave everything and follow me. Abraham akakamata Lot. Abraham got lo- hold of Lot. Mungu akamata Lot. God did not tell him to Aka get. Na Lot. But he went with Lot. Kufika huko. When he got there. Mjiani. On the way. Wana tajirika. They got rich. Wanakuwa na mangobe. They had livestock. Na makondo. And sheep. Wachungaji wa ngombe za Lot. And now the shepherds of Lot. Na wachungaji wa ngombe za Abraham. And the shepherds of Abraham's cattle. Hawakuelewana. Got, got into loggerheads. Kisha Mungu akasema. Then God said. Abraham akamwambia. Abraham said. Chagua. Choose. Ukaenda kulia? You want to go right? Daenda kushoto. I'll go left. Ukaenda kushoto? You go left? Daenda kulia. I'll go right. Wende Abraham Lot akachagua mahali pazuri kwa macho yake. Lot chose what was appealing to his eyes. Akifika huko. When he got there. Siku moja akamupambanisha. One day the battle against him. Wami wafalme wafalme tano. Five kings. Wakamugombanisha. Came against Lot. Abraham alisikia tu. Abraham heard that. Akashuka kwa bidii. Came, came down with diligently. Akapambana na hizo. Went into war. Akapambana na akapambana. With those kings. Akafanya vita ya kiroho. Akapambana, akapambana. Warfare with those kings. Akatoa huko. And rescued. Bidai ama Ah, he got loot. Nyara, nyara. Nyara. He looted. Sikia. Listen. Kama Mungu anakupenda, God loves you. Na anaheshimia ana, ana, ana kazi unafanya. And if God is pleased with the work you're doing. Ukipata kibali mbele zake. When you find favor before him. Nisikia mama anasema hii neno jana. I heard mama saying this word yesterday. Na mimi nakuja tu mimi ni ni mfasi. Mimi nimenyonya liziba yako. I'm just a disciple. Amuna shida nikisema. I'm just a disciple. Eh? Hallelujah. Kwa kwana mimi Mungu alinizungumzia hiyo. Because God spoke to me that. Hallelujah. Amen. Melkisedek. Melkisedek. Oh Melkisedek. Melkisedek. Anasema hana mwanzo. They said he has no beginning. Hana mwisho. And he has no end. Hana genealogy. Hana. There is no genealogy. Yes. Oh Melkisedek. Melkisedek. Aseme ni Je, Jiste 
ni mfalme wa haki na amani na amani he's the king the prince of righteousness and peace sasa wakati alikuwa anatoka kwenye vita now when he was coming from the battlefield God was pleased with the battle that Abraham had fought Paul said I have fought a good fight of faith my crown awaits me Eh hey, hallelujah. Amen. Now he also went into war. When Melchizedek came. Aka chimama hapo. Abraham anakuja tu. Abraham was coming. He met Melchizedek. Welcoming him. Melchizedek anakuja. Melchizedek welcomed. Anapita anampatia vino. He gave him wine. Anampatia na mkate. And bread. Anatulisha roho yake. He comforted his heart. Anampatia. And gave it to him. Kumbuka Yesu alisema Remember Jesus said I am the bread of life I am I'm the one Hallelujah Amen Kila siku mkanikumbuka Every day remember me Kama dai mkati kama mwili wangu I take the bread and the wine as my body I am the bread of life Na mimi ni divine zira and I am the the, the, the wine Hallelujah Amen Sana mjionesha Now, he appeared in, he appeared before Abraham and they made a covenant. Ana mjipatia ana muonesha kazi ya redemption. Ana muonesha the work of redemption. Hallelujah. Kisha sasa Now Abraham na yeye Abraham yote ya nguvu. He took the nice things. Ukinyarwanda wanasema nguturo rinyamibka. Akamupa sadaka kweli ya kuonekana. He gave him an offering that is worthy. Yes. Akampatia. He gave it to him. Akampatia he. Gave it to him. Melchizedek. He offered it to Melchizedek. Melchizedek akamwombea baraka ya mbinguni. Melchizedek prayed for him the blessing from heaven. Akamwombea na baraka ya ya, ya, ya kuduniani. And a blessing from the earth. Hallelujah. Akamubariki. Blessed him. Akafurahi. He was happy. Mwana wa Sodoma anakuya. The king of Sodom yes, came. Watu wako. Give me a people. Na mimi nitakupatia vitu, pesa na vitu And I'll ingine. give you money and many other things. Shetani njovu anafanya. That's what the devil does. Kukujaribu. To test you. Hallelujah. Amen. Shetani anaweza kukujaribia. Satan may test you. Anaona unafanya kazi nzuri hapa. When he sees that you're doing a good job here. Anakwambia. Tells you. Sasa. Now. Ndakupa. I'll give you. Ibi na ibi na ibi. This and that. Toka. Get out. Ha, ukuye kwangu. Come to me. Ndio hivyo alimwambia. That's what he told Ndiyo Abraham. Watu wako. Give me your people. Na ndakupa franga. And I'll give you money. Ndakupatia yote yote. I'll give you gold and all things. Akamwambia Abraham akakataa. Abraham refused. Mungu akafurahi. God was pleased. Mungu akafurahi. God was pleased. 15. 15. E, mwanzo Genesis 15 Mungu akamwambia Abraham Abraham tare kumpansera grande utabarikiwa sana great, great is your reward great is your utabarikiwa sana I'll bless you Hallelujah Amen. na Mungu akamubariki akamwambia utazaa mtoto and God blessed him and said akamwambia, you're going to give birth to a son akamwambia zo, uh, story zote mnajua you know other stories Kisha aka akamwambia nje then he took him out akamuonesha Nyota. Nyota. He showed him the stars. Akambe uzao wako. He told him he, your offspring. Utakuwa wengi kama. Will be as many as the stars. Akamubariki. Blessed him. Abraham akakubali. Abraham accepted. Akamsai akamsabia kuwa mwenye haki. And he was counted righteous. Mwenye haki Mungu anamfanyia miujiza. You know the righteous God performs miracles for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu akaona. God saw. Basi huyu mtu. This man. Mwenye alinipatia sadaka yote yake ya nguvu ya bei who gave me a worthy offering na mimi nikampatia nani mkate na divai and i gave him bread and wine ameji ameji amejitoa kwangu he he has surrendered himself to me na mimi nimemuonesha kisi ndajitoa kwake and i am going to commit myself na to him bariki. i'll bless him sasa hivi now akishaza isaka After giving birth to Isaac. Tamwambia. I will tell him. Najua huyu mtu. I know this man. Ni wangu. He's mine. Ananipenda. He loves me. Ananipenda. Loves me. Ananipenda sana. Loves me so much. Hata nikimwambia kutoa Isaac atamtoa. If I tell him to offer Isaac, he will offer him. Mwanzo makum 22. 22. Genesis 22. Akamwambia. Told him. Abraham. Abraham. Kama atamtoa wako. Get hold of your son. Wende. Go. Kukilimanda kuonesha. 
to a place Waka I'll show you. Tatu. Three days journey to Mount Moriah. Akamwambia. Told him. Akamwambia. Told him. Akisha fika uko. When he got there. Sehemu Mungu amemuonesha. A place God had showed him. Ali wingu inafunguka. The heavens opened. Abraham and Abraham prepared. Anaisha tia mtoto wake hapo. And had made the blood lie kisu. on the place. Saudi got hold of the knife but Tio a Saudi. voice that voice Ikasema. said Abraham, Abraham do not lay your hand on your child I now know that you love me that voice brought a ram Saudi that voice brought a ram and the ram he saw a ram in the thicket. He saw a ram. Aka aka aka. Yes, Mungu akamwambia Abraham. God told him Abraham. 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 Nimeona kweli kama unanipenda. Now I know you you trust me. Abraham nitakubariki. Abraham I'll bless you. Akampatia ahadi. He gave me a promise. Akamwambia nitakubariki. He told him if it's to bless you Aka, I'll bless you. Akamwambia sasa Abraham akamuita tena. He told he called him again now Aka Abraham. 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 Na apa. I vow. Uki France wanasema je jure par moi meme. Inaapa kwa jina langu. Naapa kwa jina yangu. I vow in my name. Takubariki. I will bless you. Toa eta posterité après toi. With na uzao wako baada ya wewe. I will bless your post, your, your offspring. Takubariki. I'll bless you. Mungu kweli akambariki. And God bless him. Abraham akashuka na kiana wake. Aki kiana wake yani. Abraham came down with his son. Ana uti hivu. Now the son was obedient. Mimi utanifunga huko baba yangu, unanifunga ca- kamba. You cannot tie me and take me up there. Sitakubali. I will not accept. Sitakubali. I will not accept. Mm. <laughs> Tushangilie ku- ku- Mungu kwa juu ya Isaac. Let us celebrate God for Isaac. Siwezi itika mimi. You cannot tie me. Unanifunga tu. You tie me. Baba ni mzee. My father is old. He gave birth to me in old age. He is not as strong. He wants to pierce me. No, I can't accept. But that man was also obedient. He is a son of God. He came by the will of God. He came by the voice of God. He came from the voice of God. He came from the voice of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us serve God. Let us serve God. One day, He will lift us and take us to the high places. One day, He will take us to high places. He will cause us to sit with Jesus. One day, Nilisikia hapa kuna niluma sana na usikia naumia hapa sana. This part of my body was really paining. Kunauma sana. It was too painful. Naumizwa. I was in pain. Nikigeuka kwanza ah. I could not even turn. Nikagiuka nasema ah. I turned this way pain. Sasa nikapiga magoti. I knelt down. Nikaanza abudu Mungu. I started worshiping God. Nikasema lakini Mungu. I said but God. Mbona nasikia kama nafika mahali. Nasikia mpepeo. I, I, got, I was before God. I felt a place where it was cool and I said God am I before you Sasa Mungu I said now God Mbona naketishwa sasa na wewe I am seated with you Yesu nakaa pembeni yako Jesus I am beside you Please touch me here touch me here Touch me here my Lord Touch here my Lord Heal me Wewe ndio muganga wangu You are my doctor Please Ya kukaa pembeni yako I am graced to sit beside you Baba nasikia maumivu But I'm, how can I be been pain My Lord touch me Kwa kupigwa kwa kwa nimepona By your stripes I'm here Kwa kupigwa kwa kwa by your stripes I'm here. Ta- touch me Lord. Just touch. Surely in the morning I was okay. Hallelujah. Amen. We are seated with Jesus. In the heavenly places. In the holy place. And let me tell you. One, one day again. During the covid time. Sasa. Now? I was waking up in the morning. 
Yeye magonjwa ni magonjwa kiajabu. Mume wake akapatwa na covid lakini hajapo. Now during the covid time my husband was tested positive of covid but I didn't have. Yes. I was negative. Sasa mimi nalamuka asubuhi sana. I wake up in the morning. Nafanya kama hiyo kazi ya, ya proverb ma 31. Mm. Eh. Na and I would work like the proverb 31 woman. Boil water, put lemon. Lemon na tia mona tangauzi na tia mona vituga na vituga ni karibu tusi kila kitu. Na mfukiza na tafuta hiki na tafuta hiki ndio hivyo niko na tia sanitizer fasi yote na pita. Everywhere I was putting sanitizers. Sanitizers sanitizing every place. Nikafika saa 6 usiku na choka. At midnight I was very tired. Na choka sana. Very tired. Nikasema lakini Mungu. I said but God. Mbona neno lako linasema? Why your word says. Unakaa kulia kwa Mungu? Yes, unakaa kulia kwa Jesus, Mungu. Jesus the word of God says Jesus you are seated on the right hand of the Father. Na unatuombea. And you are interceding for us. Usiku na mchana. Day and night. Na choka. I am tired. Yesu niombee. Jesus pray for me. Robo takatifu. Holy Spirit. Ase una una unaomba. Na sauti na uchungu nyingi. Na maneno haitoki hata kuna omba. Tiende set for the spirit is inexprimable. Unaomba kwa maneno yasiweza kutamkwa. Maneno yasiweza tamkwa. The groanings and moans that cannot be expressed in words. Yes, omba. Jesus pray. Roho mtakatifu nena kwa hiyo maneno hawezi tamka. Siweze kana kutamka. Mimi nachoka. Niombeye. Holy Spirit intercede for me. Niombeye. Intercede for me. Mimi ndalala sasa hivi. I will just sleep now. Intercede for me. Mimi naenda lala na nikalala kweli. And indeed I went to sleep. Yes. Omba. Jesus intercede. Roho mtakatifu. Holy Spirit. Na wewe pia fanya kazi yako. Do your work. Na lala usingizi. I am sleeping. Usiku Mungu akanifanyia muujiza. At night God performed a miracle for me. Mungu akanifanyia muujiza. God performed a miracle. Mungu akanitembelea. God visited me. Na mume wangu asubuhi akaniambia. And my husband in the morning told me. Pale miguu ikisha kuwa mweusi, you know, the, damu haitembei tena vizuri. The legs had become black, the blood was not flowing. Mume wangu akaniambia. My husband told me. Apotre ameniita mtume huyu. He told me the apostle has called me. Kwenye simu alikuwa kigani. Ameniita kwenye simu. By the over the phone akaniombea and prayed for me akaniombea prayed for me akaniombea prayed for me nikasikia i felt kitu kama ngozi kinanitoka au kinajipiga chini nikasikia napokea uko nyanya and falling down nikasikia napokea uko nyanya i felt like i received healing i received healing na mimi uko mungu amenitembelea god has visited me uko mungu amepitilia and on this other side god through his servant had visited him ametumikisha mtume using his servant banduku muna neema brethren you have grace sisi tukikuwa na shida fulani When we have problem we take the phone. Hello. Hello. There is this problem this problem this problem. But you people for granted. You take it for granted. You take him just ordinarily. Alikuja mashariki. She came to the east. Niju mtu haezi geuza program ya Mungu. It's just because people cannot Tuke change the program. Kwa sababu si ni baraka kwetu. We would have taken her because she's a blessing to us. Ni baraka kwetu. She's a blessing to us. Akiomba. When she prays. Mungu anasikia. God hears. Na Mungu anatenda. And God answers. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu akapona. God. Mungu mume wangu akapona. Was healed. Hallelujah. Amen. Mahali patakatifu. The holy place. Ange kafunguka. The heavens open. Unapata uponyaji. You receive healing. Mahali patakatifu. In a holy place. Una, unatosha wisdom. You receive wisdom. Unapata akili. You receive understanding. Unakumbuka ule ule mtumishi wa Mungu Elisa. You remember the servant of God. Mwambie alimwambia. Mwambie alimwambia. Sasa hao watu mbona wanakuja pale alisha kuwapiga kipofu ile historia yote mnajua mume akamwambia Sasa hao watu mbona wanakuja mbele zetu Adui umewaleta umefika mbele zetu Nifanyeje baba Akamwambia Usifanye kitu hata kimoja kibaya Do nothing evil Wapatie chakula Give them food to eat Wakule Let them eat Wakule Let them eat Wakule Let them eat Akili kutoka kwa Mungu. 
understanding from upatia God. Wadui chakula. To give enemies food. He gave them food. Juu. Mahali pa juu. In the high place. Unatosha education, unapatosha uburede. Malezi mazuri. Malezi mazuri. You receive good care. When you see a person without good care, just know they have not reached there. They have not reached there. When a person gets to the high place, you can't, you can't force them how to dress. You find somebody dressing a dress which is torn up to this place. Something so tight. That person has not yet. <laughs> Pray for him. When a person gets there. When the pa- a person gets to the high place, you cannot teach them how to dress. Dress like this, dress. God Himself will direct the person on how to dress. When you get to that seat, the things you feel like, the things that you thought were nice, you despise them. Hallelujah. Amen. God will teach you everything. He will discipline you well. Hallelujah. Amen. When you get that seat, God gives you fruits. He gives you a good wife and a good husband. When you get to that seat, God gives you riches. Gives you riches. Gold and silver belongs to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Gold and silver belongs to God. When you reach the high place, when you are seated with Jesus in the high place, you will not miss anything. You will not you will not lack in the physical and you will not lack spiritually. Hallelujah. Gifts shall come. The gifts of God shall come. Hallelujah. And everything that you need for life will be given to you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. God has seated, raised us from the dead. Raising us from the dead. It means that he has taken us from death. He has raised, he has resurrected our lives. He has brought life in our lives. Life in our lives. Caused us to sit with Jesus in the holy place. There you will get everything you need. Jesus is there. God the Father is there. The Holy Spirit is there. What can you lack? What can you lack? This is the time to be accepted by God. This is the acceptable year of the Lord. 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 Lady, young man, servant of God, God is pleased with us because we are in the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. When God said, I'm pleased with you, through mama, my life has changed. I have seen God glorify himself in different ways in my life. Spiritually, even in the physical. Hallelujah! Amen! Serve God Zealously. Serve God zealously. Serve God zealously. Do not go away. Serve God. God is good. All the time. God is good. To everybody. God does not show Hallelujah. favoritism. He does not show favoritism. Whoever goes to God serves God. In truth and in spirit, and faithfully, diligently, God will reveal Himself to you and glorify His name. God, who was, is, and is forever and forever and forever. He never changes. He never changes. 
And mafundisho, now follow this teaching. Tafauti, servant of God. Umeze, different servants of God. Mwako, you better get all the teachings. Matunda, allow that word to get in you. And bear moja, fruit. One day, utakula, that fruit, na na you shall eat and share with others. Hallelujah. Amen.